This video looks at section SDSD G. In this video we're looking at Chebyshev's theorem. Now Chebyshev's theorem approximates the proportion of data values lying within a given number of standard deviations of the mean regardless of whether the data is normally distributed or not. Chebyshev's theorem states for any data set at least 1 minus 1 over k squared of the values lie within k standard deviations either side of the mean. So k is greater than 1. So for any data set at least 1 minus 1 over 2 squared which is 75% of the values lie within two standard deviations. Note that that's what the 2 represents. k equals 2 which is two standard deviations. Okay, This theorem allows for the determination of the least percentage values that must lie between certain bounds identified by standard deviations. So let's look at an example. The height of adult dogs in a town have a mean of 67.3 centimetres and a standard deviation of 3.4 centimetres. What can be concluded from Chebyshev's theorem about the percentage of dogs in town that have heights between 58.8 and 75.8 centimetres? Well let's work out our z of 58.8. Now knowing that our z score is given by x minus a mean over standard deviation, so we have 58.8 minus 67.3 divided by 3.4 which is negative 2.5. Then for our 75.8 we have 75.8 minus 67.3 over 3.4 which gives us 2.5. Okay so k is equal to plus or minus 2.5. So 1 minus 1 over k or squared gives us 1 minus 1 over 2.5 or squared. Get the same value if it's minus or positive. So you get 1 minus 0 0.16 which is 0 0.84 or 84 percent. Finish with the therefore statement. You have at least 84 percent of adult dogs would have heights between 58.8 centimeters and 75.8 centimeters. Next, what would be the range of heights that would include at least 75% of the dogs? So now we're going to be working backwards. We know that our proportion is 1 minus 1 over k squared. So that means that 0 0.75 has to equal 1 minus 1 over k squared. Now if I take away 1 from both sides I get negative 0 0.25 equals negative 1 on k squared or 0 0.25 equals 1 over k squared getting rid of the negatives on both sides. Swap these two I get k squared is equal to 1 over 0 0.25 k squared equals 4 so k equals plus or minus 2. From there x equals a mean plus or minus z times the standard deviation so that's going to be 67.3 plus or minus 2 times my 3.4 and that's going to give you values of 74.1 and 60.5. Finish with the therefore statement. So you've got therefore 75% of the dog's heights would range from 60.5 centimetres and 74.1 centimetres. Now if you're not sure about what I'm doing here, I've actually calculated twice. I've got x equals 67.3 plus 2 times 3.4 and then gives me the 74.1 and I've got the x equals 67.3 minus 2 times 3.4 which gives me the 60.5. So the upper or lower value because it is plus or minus because we can have plus or minus 2. What now? Complete exercise SDSD G1 in the textbook.